Hi, this is Heidi Caswell here for the Press One on Entrepreneurs. And one of the things that I find that takes a lot of time when you are setting up a new site is deciding what theme to use, what theme would work with it. And I found out, for me, it's easy for me to have a good few, a few themes that I know that are very good and to choose from those. And it saves me a lot of time. One of the things right now that everyone likes is the responsive themes. Responsive is one which uh, changes with whether you're on a tablet or a phone or a laptop, a desktop, it'll change to go along with whatever you're viewing it on. And the other thing that a lot of people want is sort of like in these uh, slider things that go across the top. Let me show you. Okay, here's a slider right here. It's just going back and forth between the two pictures. And you can have more pictures than that. You can click on these things here and they'll go from picture to picture. But this is a thing that a lot of people are wanting on their sites. And as you can see here, it doesn't look like a traditional blog on the top. This is more of a home page. You can have the things that you want on it. And I looked at several different themes that had a slider built in. You can add a slider to an existing theme. But if you can find a theme that's got the parts and pieces you want to start with, you're better off to start from there. I also like how we have the um, social media buttons right up here at the top. And that's also cool. So we're going to go ahead and this is the mantra theme. I looked at several different responsive themes for a couple of new sites that I was doing for cl helping clients with. And... Um, as I tried different ones, when I hit Mantra, I'm like, okay, this is it. This is the one I want to use. Uh, some of the things I like about it is it looks nice. It works well. It looks very um, up-to-date. It's not an old-looking site. It's got the, it is responsive, so that whether you're on the cell phone or the tablet or people are going to be able to see it well. And it's got all these social media links very easy to add. And I'm going to go ahead and show you in the the dashboard what it looks like. Well the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to add the theme on your site first and it's a uh, one that is inside WordPress itself so just go to install themes and type in mantra and I already got it installed here as you can see but you would click install and install it if it wasn't there then you go on into themes and you activate the mantra thing. And let me show you some of the options that it gives you so you can kind of see. A lot of times I like to see what a theme lets you do with it. And this one's very easy to use. Um, you can see that you can decide where you want your columns to be, how many columns that you have. You can change the width or your content in the sidebars by moving these around. The header itself, if you want that's the top area here on your um, thing. Like in here, here's the header area right up here. Here's the header area. And if you want to be able to change the height of that, you can. It is good to have it small, not real big, not the big fat wide pictures. Uh, that gives more of your content itself will be showing up at the top of your thing. The presentation page is where you ch change that home page, that front page there. And um, you want to enable it or disable it. If you don't want to use this for your home page, you can just disable it. Uh, you can change this dimension of your slider. That slider is those images here. So if you want it to not go all the way across, if you want a little not so wide, you can change those dimensions. Uh, you can change the uh, how the animation and things on the slider works. You've got lots of things there. And here's where you add the slides that go there. Now you're going to have to add the slides yourself. Uh, you do need to make them be the size you want them to be to start with. And um, so whatever size that you set for the slider, that's the size you want your pictures to be. And it's going to add this little black stuff with the text here. Um, and that's kind of cool. And I'll be right back. 